we're going to be looking at wave intensity. Wave intensity is defined as the amount of wave energy arriving per unit time per unit area. And the energy arriving per unit time represents power. So we can say wave intensity is representing the wave power per unit area. So the units of intensity will be given by the units of power, which is watts, divided by the units of area, which is meters squared. So the units for intensity is watts per meter squared. If we consider S to be a point source of waves, so that is, it's emitting waves in all directions in a 3D space. And we're going to be considering the intensity of the wave at a distance d from the point source. So we can say the power from that wave source is covering an area A at distance d away. So we can say the intensity at distance d is equal to the power P divided by the area A. If we now consider at 2D the distance away from point S, you have the same power that passed through A at distance D is now passing through an area of 4a at distance 2d from s. So we can say that the intensity at a distance 2d away is equal to the power p divided by the area 4a. So by doubling the distance, we have a quarter of the wave intensity. And this is known as an inverse square law. That is, the intensity is directly proportional to 1 divided by the distance squared. And directly proportional to 1 over is representing by inverse. So we can say, Intensity is inversely proportional to d squared. So if the distance doubles, we replace the d with 2. So we'll have 1 divided by 2 squared. And that tells us then that we'll have a quarter of the intensity. So for an inverse square law, at distance d, we have an intensity of i. If we double the distance, then we will have 1 divided by 2 squared. So we'll have a quarter of the intensity. And if we have 3 times the distance, we will have 1 divided by 3 squared. So we'll have 1 ninth of the intensity. If we were to plot a graph of intensity i, for a point source against distance d away from the point source, and to get a graph looking like this. But because i is proportional to 1 divided by d squared, if we plot a graph of intensity i against 1 divided by d squared, as these two are directly proportional, we'll get a straight line through the origin. If we consider a point source of waves, the wave power will spread uniformly from all, in all directions in a 3D space from the point source. And if we want to determine the wave intensity at a distance d away from the point source, then we'd use this equation. So we say it's the power that has spread out. And as it's spread out in a 3D space, it's spread out in a surface area of a sphere that centers on the point source. 
and the surface area of the sphere is 4 pi r squared, where in this case the r, the radius, is our distance d from the centre, the point source, to the edge of the sphere. So this d is not the diameter, but the radius of the sphere. So you can see where the power is constant for a given source, the intensity is inversely proportional to distance squared. The amplitude of the wave is an indicator of the wave intensity. So if we was to double the amplitude, but have the same frequency or period, by doubling the amplitude, then the oscillation is covering twice the distance in the same amount of time. So we can say the average speed would double. As the average speed doubles, then the energy of the wave would quadruple. And that's because for the oscillation, the particle that's moving, it has kinetic energy. And kinetic energy equals a half mv squared. And so if the speed doubles, because of the v squared term, we'll have 2 squared. That is 4 times the energy. So we have 4 times the energy arriving per unit time, per unit area. So that tells us we'll have 4 times the wave intensity. So by doubling the amplitude, we have four times the wave intensity. This relationship is then intensity directly proportional to amplitude squared. So if we have double the amplitude, we'll have two squared, the intensity. So that is four times the intensity. And if we had three times the amplitude, we'd have three squared the intensity. So that's nine times the intensity. So we've seen the wave intensity is directly proportional to amplitude squared. And it's also inversely proportional to the distance squared. So if we look at both these relationships, we can then say, that the amplitude squared is proportional to 1 divided by the distance squared, or the amplitude squared is inversely proportional to distance squared. If we square root both sides, we can then say that the amplitude is inversely proportional to the distance. So if we was to double the distance away from the point source, the amplitude of the wave would half. If we were three times the distance away from the point source, then the amplitude of the wave will be a third.